one roof. All right, on uh, Miami Dolphins sitting there at plus 250, nine and eight last year, minus two point differential. They had that great start to the season. Tua looked like a perennial MVP candidate, was playing like it. Everything kind of went south. They had to go with the kid. I think it was Thompson in that playoff game that they hung around against Buffalo. Um, but listen, I think the storyline for me with the Miami Dolphins, it centers around the quarterback. I mean, period. Because unfortunately, this kid is potentially one more hit away from being knocked out of his career. And that's pretty much all she wrote. But look, I'll say this. His numbers last year, 3,500 yards. Uh, we're talking 13 games played now. So he was going to go over 4,000. 25 touchdowns, eight picks, only sacked 21 times, and just had to deal with multiple concussions, right? And and that was kind of the um, situation that derailed the season for the Miami Dolphins. They had all that momentum. They lost it. They finally found a way to get in the playoffs. And uh, I don't know, does Tua make a difference in that playoff game? Who knows? But in any event, nine and eight, a lot of people think they could maybe, if things break, win the division. Uh, where are you right now with the Miami Dolphins? Yeah, very, very interesting team you're talking about, too. Every, all eyes on them. And Chris Greer, the general manager there, and Mike McDaniel, the head coach, you know, he, he's a guy from the Shanahan tree, and, and uh, he's a mad scientist on offense, and he's going to try to create mismatches with that they have so much speed on this team now, you know, with yeah. Tariq Hill and the rest of the guys. They're going to try to get the football down the field now. That's Tua is accurate down the field, and and uh, but just his arm strength. You always wondered about that, and as you said, very shaky when he was not health, healthy and not playing. This team was so, you know, the concussions are a big factor. I know yeah. he's been doing jujitsu, and he looks a lot bigger. You can see. Uh, some tape I was just watching. He looked like he gained about 10 to 15 pounds of muscle. He's been in the gym. That's all well and good. But, you know, when they start hitting him for real, yes. you know, all that training to fall the right way. You know, when you have some 300-pound lineman landed on you, I don't care if you know how to learn to roll over your elbow or not, you know, <laughs> uh, it, it's going to be a big hit. So yeah, uh, they, they did a good job in the draft. Everybody gave them A's and that in terms of the people they're bringing in and everything. But, um as you're saying, got to keep him healthy and, and and then see how everything shakes out. So their their schedule. I was looking at them. You know, it's going to be interesting. They're, they're at the Chargers playoff team. They're at the New England Patriots, Denver, and then they're at Buffalo, the Giants, Carolina, and then at Philadelphia. So they have a lot of road games to start the season. And then they have New England, and then are at Kansas City, and then are by in Week Ten. So, Brutal. you know, the schedule's not—it's not helping them. You know, yeah. so we'll see if they're able to make that late season push, and and um, they're going to put up some points with with that offense, and and they, they rebuilt the line as well. So, you know, I, all eyes are pointing to him to be a, de- a playoff contender. They snuck in last year, as you were saying. Um, we'll see what they can do. They. They scored 23 points per game last year, 11th in the league. But they then they did allow 23 and a half each game, which was 24th in the NFL. So, you know, they got to fix that defense. The, the defense has got to get more natural pressure. Yes, they have Xavier Howard and some guys on the back end that can cover. But they got to get more turnovers, and they have to get more pressure back. They started off 3-0. and They lost to uh, Bridgewater, Thompson, then Bridgewater. They lost to Cincinnati, the Jets, Miami. They got two of back. They beat Pittsburgh. That was an ugly game. They beat Detroit, Chicago, Cleveland, and then they beat Houston. So think about this. 3-0, 3-3, three and three and three, then five straight to 8-3. and three. Then he was banged up again. Tough loss against San Fran, and that kind of set the stage for them to drop, what was it, um, five straight, and then they were able to salvage that playoff berth by beating uh, the Jets the last game of the season, and they did that with Thompson as well. Thompson um, – you know, it, it's just point is Tua is kind of the, the heartbeat of that team. And you mentioned defensively. Yeah. 33, 23, 32, 26, 33. Uh, you, you're that's, you know, he was never the same quarterback. So your defense has to lift up the offense and your quarterback as well. And uh, you highlighted the strength of schedule, which is going to be tough for Miami. They have to just like the other teams we mentioned. And I really think for every team in the NFL, jump out of the gate 